Hi booktube, Lynette here again and this is another re uh, book tag for you and I'm going to do the reading habits tag. Question number one is do you have a certain place in your home for reading? Mm, yes, um, it's not official, it's just that I live with my mum so I don't tend to have a specific place so it's her home, I haven't got anywhere specifically set up. But when I'm reading at home, I do tend to read when I'm sat in the living room with her while she's watching something on TV. Other than that, I read in bed. Question two, do you use a bookmark or do you use random items? I used to use random items, um, but I used to have to travel uh, on the bus to work um, carrying, uh, it was before I had an e-reader, so it would be a receipt, a wrapper. Um, I've been known to use an empty chocolate wrapper. Um, Primarily at that time I'd use my bus ticket because I knew where my bus ticket was. Um, but now uh, I do actually tend to use bookmarks rather than odd random bits. Um, but if I don't have a bookmark on me, then I'll use whatever I can find. Question number three, can you stop reading or do you need to read a certain number of pages or do you need to get to the end of a chapter before you can put your book down? I can just stop reading. Um, I'll stop in the middle of a page, in the middle of a sentence. Um, if I need to stop reading, then I will stop reading um, and I just put my bookmark in and I'll pick it up again when I pick the book up next time. Question four, do you eat or drink while reading? Yes to both. I will quite often snack. I will quite often have a cup of tea or a coffee or a fizzy drink of some kind. I am precious about my books, so I'm careful about eating and drinking around them. Um, I don't think I ruined a book yet uh, by dropping food or drink on it. Um, and my Kindle, I take it in the bath. So, you know, I think if that's going to get water damage, it's already done. So, uh, yes, um, um, I do eat and drink while reading. Question five is, do you listen to music or watch TV while reading? Sometimes I listen to music. Um, on my phone I have a playlist set up of film soundtrack scores which are instrumental. Um, I'm finding it increasingly more difficult as I get older to listen to music which has lyrics set to it uh, while I'm reading. I find it distracting um, these days. It never used to be a problem. Um, but yes, I do have a, um, a playlist set up of uh, soundtracks which are just musical scores and no lyrics. And I do listen to that quite often. Um, if not, um, on my app that I use uh, for recording books, um, for recording how long I'm reading, uh, that does have ambient sounds built in. And I'll quite often listen to a crowded cafe noise, um, which I do find quite absorbing um, because I like to read in public places as well. So, um, I do try and read while watching TV. It's usually because the TV's on and my mum's watching it rather than I don't. If it's a TV program I want to watch, then I don't tend to pick up my book. I will watch that or read. I, they, I don't. I can't do both. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, I do. I will have the TV on. Um, but if I'm on my own, my choice is to have music or silence. Question six, one book at a time or several at once? It depends. Um, if I'm struggling with a book that I want to read, then I might pick something else up to read in between just to, to lighten things up. Um, but the majority of the time these days, I am a single book at a time reader. Um, I'm trying to plug away at my TBR and I'm finding that I need to stop picking books up and starting them I need and not finishing them. I need to just um, read them from start to finish. Um, Sometimes I'll have two books on the go, so I'll have one that I'm reading at home and one that I'm reading at work. Um, but other than that, uh, that would be the most that I have on the go at any one time. Question seven, reading at home or read everywhere? I read everywhere. Uh, for example, I took my mum for her first Covid jab um, vaccination yesterday and I sat and read in the car while she was in having her jab done. Um, I like to take my book when we're allowed to again. I like to go to a cafe and sit in a corner with a cup of coffee um, and a treat and read my book for half an hour. I like to go to public parks and sit, probably with a takeaway coffee from the cafe again, um, 
but sit and read in a park. I can read at home. I like to read at home. I read at work. I listen to audiobooks um, if I'm driving any great distance um, or if I'm walking uh, when I'm walking to and from work. So I do. Um, I can read anywhere and everywhere. The only place I can't read is on a train. I do try, though. Um, I get travel sick on trains. It's the only form of travel that makes me sick. Um, reading is usually what takes me out of the space that I'm in and distracts me. So I do try to read while I'm on a train, um, but more often than not, I struggle. Question eight, reading out loud or reading silent in your, in your head. I read silently in my head. I only read out loud when I'm reading to people, um, but I prefer to read silently in my head. Question nine, do you read ahead or skip pages? If I'm reading a paperback book, um, I am guilty of skipping to the final pages to see if it gives me any spoilers. Uh, if I'm not enjoying a book or if it's boring. So at the moment I'm reading The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. I'm struggling with some parts of the story and I am skimming it because it's just too much detail, too much information, overload. Just can't do it. Um, so I do skim read. I try not to. Um, if I realise I'm skimming, then I do try and go back over what I've read and reread it in more detail. Um, but yes, I am guilty of that. Question number 10 is, do you break the spine or keep it like new? Now, when I was a child, I didn't. So I don't know if you can see that very well because of the glare off the ring light. But this is my original copy of The Hobbit. Um, I don't know if you can see that that spine is pretty pretty horribly broken um you know it's very very battered spine however um i finished a book in december which was a real chunko it was a good 900 page book look at that spine absolutely perfect no marks on it whatsoever um it doesn't even fall open because i do not crack my spines if you borrow my books and you crack the spine you buy me a new one please because I keep my books in pristine condition. I was actually complimented um, uh, about 12 months ago. I went uh, for an appointment and the lady who was doing my appointment said, my goodness, that's a very well kept book because um, it's quite an old book. Um, but the spine was not broken and it had been read multiple times. So as a child, yes, I battered my books to pieces. As an adult, I keep them in as pristine condition as I can keep them so that they last for as long as they can. And question 11 is, do you write in your books? No, I don't. Um, I'm not an annotator. Um, I do find that that takes me out of the story. Occasionally when I'm on my Kindle, I might make a note um, using highlights or highlight a passage. But no, I don't write in my books. I don't annotate. I've tried annotating and it just isn't for me. I just, I don't get on with that at all. So that's the reading habits tag. As always, I'll leave the questions in the information box down below. So if you want to have a go at this tag, then please do. And if you've liked this video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please do subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.